What's going on guys, it is Bucky, of course, who would you expect, and welcome to another Coco's 2D tutorial. Now, in these next couple tutorials, we're going to be going over something called Tiled Maps, and we're actually going to be creating a full-fledged RPG role-playing game. So if you ever played Pokemon or, um, let's see, Zelda for Nintendo, the regular Nintendo 8-bit, or, you know, any games like that, that's what we're going to be learning to create. So, this is probably one of the funnest tutorials I'm about to teach you guys because I love making these games it's really easy and whenever you look at a game like that you would be like alright if I was to make this I don't even know where to start but after these tutorials everything is going to be a piece of cake and you're going to be able to make some of the greatest best RPGs that you know can come out of your mind so let's go ahead enough of me talking there's your intro hope you enjoyed it let's go ahead and download the things we need. So let me expand Google and the first thing we need is a program called Tiled. Actually before I even do that let's go ahead and start up our blank. Let's create a new project in Coco Studio application choose and just name this like RPG and that looks pretty good. And now what we want to do is in resources we want to drag this tiled map in and copy it just like that now I know you guys don't have this file yet but what I'm going to be doing is posting a link below this video and you can download it there um, or if you don't want to download this one you can pretty much just go google tiled maps or RPG tiled maps and a bunch of options will pop up but this one was real simple and you know it was just the sizes I need so if you want to follow along with this tutorial click the link below to download it so anyways what a tiled map is I should probably tell you that this is pretty much think of these as a bunch of different stamps and using these stamps you can create an entire map so yeah that's pretty much a good explanation so you can have grass in one area a path a stone path a fence you know pretty much how Pokemon or Zelda is made it's made with the same images over and over and when we create actual maps you're gonna be able to see this very clearly um, this just looks like a bunch of collage right now but anyways that's that so go ahead and fi actually just go ahead and minimize this and open up Google and now let's go to what I was going to teach you go ahead to Google and uh, let's go ahead and search hopefully this works tiled yep here we go and the first thing that's going to pop up is tiled map editor or you can go to mapeditor.org go ahead and click this and what you can see right here is this is the program that allows you to make tiled maps so if you see in these little images right here that you can kinda see the maps that we're going to be creating later on so here is one of the views and here's another view this one is kind of the bird's eye view that we're going to be creating but anyways enough of me talking here's what you need to do go ahead and you, we need to download this program go ahead and download QT 0 0.5.0 for Mac OS 10 if you don't want to download it then they have a Java version that you can use but I really don't like it so uh, let's go ahead and just download it I mean download programs is always funner so go ahead and download that I'm not going to show you how to download it because you guys obviously know how and go ahead and once you have it downloaded open it open don't mind that warning and here is the map that I made so far so you know this is great and all but you know I need to teach you guys how to make a map so here's what we need to do go ahead and once you have uh, tiled open go ahead and click file new and make sure your settings are the same as mine now orthogonal is pretty much like um pokemon and zelda pretty much the map you're looking at right here now this other one isometric it's kind of like um it's kind of like more 3d than 2d i think farmville has it and it's pretty much just like 3d just think of that we don't want it so anyways make sure you have orthogonal selected this is the RPGs we want now the map size this width and height these aren't pixels these are the actual tiles so how many tiles do you want 
and you'll see later on what tiles are. Now the tile size, this is the size in pixels of each tile. So this largely depends on the image you're using for your tile map. But if you uh, download that one I told you to download, this should be fine. So go ahead and put 32 by 32. By the way, this fits perfectly on the iPhone screen since it's 320 by 480. There's a little hint for you. Make sure all your tiles when you're working with the iPhone are 32 by 32. So we click OK and now we have this blank nothing going on. But what we want is that tile set so we actually have something to make a map out of. So let's go ahead and in order to get our tile set, go ahead up to map and go to new tile set and then go ahead and name this anything like RPG tile set. Looks good. And now go ahead in our image uh, mine's going to be different than yours but go ahead and wherever you downloaded that file go ahead and press open and your tiles of course are going to be 32 by 32 your margin and spacing should be 0 and 0 some people create tile sets with little black bars in between so you can see the grid but for this case just put 0 and 0 um, most 99% of the time it's going to be 0 and 0 so go ahead and click OK and now you have pretty much your palette of anything you can draw on the screen here pretty cool huh so now you see your tile set if you have more than one they're gonna appear right here but we only have one right now so we won't have to worry about that so what we want to do is start creating our map and I'm actually gonna yeah I think I'm actually gonna start creating the map in the next tutorial so you know I don't want to make this one too long so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you what all these tools do even though there's only like two of them and I'm going to be creating a map and we might even begin coding our program I don't know I guess you guys are going to have to wait and see so anyways thank you guys for watching uh, this tutorial I bet you guys can't wait until next time so uh, yeah uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then